Good morning. So basically, to tell you a story, this is the fourth garage I've had to go to just to get a coffee this morning. And I genuinely have no idea why. But it looks like some big massive system update thing is getting done at all the ESOs. We have two in Elgin and one in Forest. All three of them I went to and they're all closed today. It's alright though. Golf or however you pronounce it, I have a spar shop. It sorted me out. And here we go. So today I'm inspecting this rear bumper, machining it and re coating it in Crystal Ceramic Exo. Let's go. Okay, a couple of tester panels done on the rear, but I think I found the combination now. Just wiped it over with the panel wipe. Happy with that. Okay guys, all done. I know there's not a lot in here, there usually is when I do away jobs or at the unit, but Scott is using some of the coating stuff today. Let's get this packed up, head on home. Done, let's go and see if they've got my check. Winning! Oh, I'm a bit dark, let me reach that up. There we go, winning! Got my check. So that was a lot easier than the last time I was here. Tips time. Okay, so the last time I was here, I didn't know my way around the place and I just, the company phoned me up saying, yeah, sure, I'll come, I'll invoice you, done, dusted, sorted. When I got here, didn't know my way around, so it took me some time to find my place, find the car, find where PowerPoints were, etc. And then when I left, they were like, yeah, cool, just send us an invoice and we'll get it to you. It took three months to get that bill paid. But this time, when the garage phoned me up saying, we've got a customer in that's got your G10 and goodies on it, I was like, no problem. I'll come through first thing in the morning if possible, and I managed to get in Bob on 8 o'clock. And here's my invoice, could you please have the check sitting at the front desk? And they were like, yeah, sure, we'll get that sorted for you. So a little bit of planning, it's all sorted. I've been paid already. So hopefully them tips help you guys out. If you're ever outsourcing or doing whatever, try and see if you can get the check there first with a pre-done invoice. Okay guys, I'm gonna head back to Elgin. We're back. Go see what's going on. Okay, the lad's done a great job. The RSQ3, I keep getting that wrong, is now inside. And uh, the Igo is just waiting. XO going on to it. Let's go and have a look at how we got on last night with the errors. So, epic work from website guy last night. A couple of tweaks on the Trello were sent over to him and they're already sorted. So, we now have the collect and store option online. For some reason, we hadn't managed to get that one on. So now you guys, if you're wanting to come and pick up from store, but you want to order it first for pick, quick pickup or until we get the point of sale, you want your reward points, then order online, pay for it, and just click collect and store, and then we will put processed and then send you a little note back saying, it's ready, just come pick it up. Also, we have the customer group thing I was telling you about, sorted. So the only thing I've got to sort now is customer group coupons. I think that is about it for the errors. Winning. <laughs> Time is now. Hmm. Time's now? Hmm. How about now? Yes. 10 to 12. Whilst the lads are on the RSQ3, I'm about to put EXO on the IGO. Health and safety. Boom. See what you thought of that? Hmm. Just watched it back. That was me using the time lapse feature in the G7X. Now it doesn't work like a normal SLR, as in you would take loads of pictures and then you would go on your computer and do it. The G7X does it all internally and its own thing. Still got to play with some settings, but 
I thought that was pretty cool, right? It took uh, two seconds for me to push a button and do it, so hopefully I'm practicing all these new things. One for the vlog, for time saving and ease, and the other is for when I'm away in Greece and Vegas. XO complete. Let's see what the boys are doing on the RSQ3. The wheels are off and Jamie is cleaning up the calipers and the plastics. And as we can hear, Scotty is hoovering up the arches. Nice. And now it's time for me to prep the plastics in this one and get them coated in C4. Time is half past four. And it's backyard update time. A big machine came and wrecked the place. <laughs> and I think because of local holidays and stuff, nothing's actually gonna happen now till Tuesday. I'll keep you all up to date. Time is 22.8. RSQ3 is finished. Lads have done a great job on that one and disappeared. I nipped into town to get some tea. There I go, almost finished. Just waiting on it drying. And as I'm doing some paperwork, we've got Dougie in today. He's helping us out sort the fish tank out. Hey Dougie, thank you hey, very guys. much. And we're getting that sorted tonight, so I'll keep you up to date on what's going on there. Maybe shoot a little bit more, or I might keep it as a separate video. Don't know what will happen in this. Depends how long it is. All right guys, catch up in a bit. Ta-da! Happy flash once again, thank you to Doug. It's time for me and Doug to go and enjoy a quick brew and a catch up. And as much as you all probably love to hear that chin wag, I'm afraid you can't. So, please do subscribe guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao! Was that a cross between ciao and bye? Hmm.